Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo, located at 31 Autumn All Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Now the most notable features on this TRD Off-Road is its power moonroof. You have your heated front seats along with your multi-terrain select and crawl control. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this TRD off-road is its daytime running lights, you also have your fog lamps, and then if we take a closer look just at the front grille, you're going to see your plug-in block heater, and if we take a look just over on the side, you have your 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, you have your running boards, taking a look up top you have the integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors. You have the smart key system with it, so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Excuse me, push it on at once and it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. You have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Over on your left hand side you have your mirror controls along with your automatic headlights, window wiper de-icer, and your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet. Window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seat function, volume control, voice recognition, mode select, Bluetooth, Scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the multi-informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your average fuel economy. You'll also see a distance to empty, eco indicator, speedometer, sway warning, and then you can also go through and take a look at your compass as well as your audio, lane departure alert, messages and your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system and a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look just at the center dash as well as the touch panel display you'll see a couple of different features on here. So as you can see you have your digital clock, you have your hazard lights and then inside your menu screen you'll see your destination audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now the nice thing is with the apps menu, this is part of the Entune app suite, so as long as you have it on your phone, you can use such apps as the Scout GPS app, but rather since you already have the Scout um, embedded uh, navigation on here, all you have to do is uh, use the Slacker app and you can stream your music from your phone onto the touch panel display. You can also check on local fuel prices or on the latest sports scores just depending on what your preferences are. Now it is compatible with Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. It does come with the Sirius XM satellite radio. You have the dual zone climate control settings as well, the USB and auxiliary input, power outlet, 4x4 select, matted to an automatic transmission with the TRD style shift knob, heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, open and close for your power rear window, and taking a look at the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror, and you'll also find your integrated garage door opener controls, open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof, traction control on off, a track rear differential lock, and then you have the SOS Safety Connect. So the other nice thing is you do have the crawl control feature as well as your multi-terrain select. So depending on what uh, kind of terrain you're going over, you can actually set that for yourself. So if you're going over across some loose rock, mud, rock, sand, or dirt, you can adjust that accordingly. Now for those of you who uh, don't know what the crawl control feature can be used for, say for instance if you're in the mountains and you're trying to get across some loose shale you keep on spinning you can actually set the speed for yourself that way you can go across smoothly rather than spinning all the time when you're trying to get across that loose shale now taking a look here as well at the backup camera you, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now, located on the back of your tailgate, you'll see your backup camera just on your left-hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your foreigner emblem. Now, one of the nice things, if you take a look at the rear cargo spaces, you do have the cargo cover in the back, so you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place. 
And if you need the additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat for yourself. Over on your right hand side, you'll see that rear cargo power outlet. So if you're ever out of the cabin or the lake during the weekend and you need to plug in your tools, you can do so. Or if you'd like, you can plug in a mini fridge or a couple of speakers. Now the other nice thing is that you can actually open up the rear window from the outside. So as long as you have the key fob on you, just hold down on the down button. You want to make sure you do that because if you let go part way, it'll stay part way open. So you want to make sure you hold down the button the entire time until the window opens all the way. And then that way you can throw a couple of things back here really quickly just without having to open up the tailgate. And then vice versa, you just want to hold down on the up button and it will close for you automatically. Now, if you forget to actually lock the doors, don't worry, because when you close up the window this way, it'll actually lock the doors for you automatically. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.